right. And now, for a sudden change of pace, we are in Yucca Valley, very close to Joshua Tree. And I am at a place called uh, Desert Christ Park. So uh, these were all these are all sculpted from 1951 to 1961, apparently. And I have heard of this, or at least seen it somewhere on the internet, this area, and I've always wanted to check it out. There's a view of the valley, and we're just going to walk around for a minute or two. This is my first time, so it'll be your first time too, maybe. I don't know, have you been here before? Um, the weather is really nice today. Normally it would be absolutely cooking. Actually, it's pretty good. So let me show you the little kiosk here. Got people's names that have been painted here. Now, I don't know if these are specific biblical figures. I don't know. But it's, uh, let me see. We have like a wishing well, I guess. A little bit of uh, blue, blue marbles in there. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce this right. Antone? Antoine. Anton Martin. And we have a picture of him, actually. I'll show you over here. I like how they they label it kiosk. In case you didn't know what it was. Park host Rocky Roadrunner. Is he welcoming me? Is he welcoming me? Is he trying to scare me off because he's afraid of humans? So here he is. Okay, there's the sculptor. Um, and we have some booklets. Uh, Jesus booklets and this is sad to see look at this unfortunately someone continues to steal well yeah. in the old days maybe the lid would stay on and the donations would stay in but now you do one more all right so move over here. there's a few people here coming to check it out so basically it's just sort of these random sculptures here on the side of this hill and I don't know what this is supposed to be it looks like a I'm not sure let's go check it out but there are some random sculptures on the sides of here this you really don't get a good view from you can really see the, the spectacular valley out there it's Joshua Tree National Park is right over these hills. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this. It's like an old amphitheater thingy. A little the outdoor theater. If you look at that, you could live right up there. Look, somebody lives up there. It's a car is parked. It's a little house. You know, we can come and pass by these sculptures every day. Oh man, this is it, this is the life. Look at these old, sad, rotted. I should put, I should put, start some plays right here. But nobody would wanna sit on these benches. Look at there's like electrical wiring running through them. Wonder when the last time was they did a, had any kind of play. That's what it would look like if you're putting on a play. You have a nice backdrop there at the mountains. There he is, there's the yard. He could see, he could see it for free. That guy up there, he wouldn't have to pay. Wow. Well, well they did make an attempt to uh, update these with, I believe that's plastic wood right there. All right, one more thing. We'll just take a look at this and then I will. 
I'll be finished because I got another stop to make today. Um, the Rock Chapel. Well, we get married here. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's like a little rock church. Look, there's a, there's a um, lock on the door. There's really a church in here, or a chapel. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Construction began in 1954. It's no longer be open day and night for those who are in need of prayer. Oh, unauthorized use and disrespect. Yeah. Uh, if I can just look in, it's too dark. Um, probably, uh, let me guess, homeless and people doing drugs. All the stuff that's blighting and limiting our freedoms today. Everything's got to be locked up, minimized, you know, donations are stolen. Uh, I bet the arms are broke off. they got to go in there and repair that. Wow. Think of how scorching, scorching hot it gets out here during the peak of summer, and these things are just cooking. Oh, look at this, I found evidence. Homeless sleeping up here, hanging out up here. Nobody there, but they're the evidence. I walked right by it. And folks, this is why the chapel has to be closed. And somebody was up here sleeping, sleeping. Oh no, the press-on nails, of course. Press-on nails and a Christmas decoration. Of course, it makes perfect sense. Oh, and a diaper, I think. Ooh. Anyway, so this is a nice little place, isn't it? So um, that is it for now. I'm gonna move along. There's some other things to see today and uh, trying to stay along Route 66. This is actually Route 62, huh. a little bit uh, south of 66, but we're moving. We're gonna be moving east, 29 Palms, and then moving north. So I'll see you on the next rung of this adventure. Hang tight.